As you may or may not be aware, I am what you would call a young parent. I've got two young children who are four and one, and I'm only 23 myself, so therefore I'm a young parent. And there's nothing bad about that, and I'm not complaining about it because it was entirely my choice, so I've got no one, I guess, to blame other than myself. But even then, I'm not blaming myself because I'm extremely happy with my kids, but it doesn't mean there aren't negatives to it, and it doesn't mean there aren't positives to it. So I really just want to discuss my own experience of being a young parent and my perspective of it all. What I decided to do was just come up with three positives and three negatives to being a young parent, in my own opinion, because there are actually a lot more positives than there are negatives, but I wanted to try and keep an equal balance and I didn't want the video just to be, you know, an everlasting list and, and things like that. But certainly the first positive that I could think of was I, I have more energy. So as a young parent, I'm, you know, I'm still quite young and quite healthy and fit. I've probably got more energy than someone that is significantly older than me. You know, when you're getting a lot older, you, you start to not be able to do as much. I'm not saying everyone's like that. There are a lot of people that are older, like a lot older than me, that are still extremely more active than I am. But as a young parent, I've definitely got the energy to deal with two young little children. I think that really is a massive benefit because obviously kids run around a lot and they keep you on your toes all the time. If you haven't got the energy to deal with them, it's extremely difficult. That being said, there is a negative as well and it's not a, a direct opposite of that negative, it's just the, the top on the list really for negatives and it's it's my pet peeve actually, is about being judged in public. And I don't know for sure that people actually go out of their way to judge me or young parents in general, but it certainly feels like it. So there have been numerous occasions where I'll be out with the kids or I'll be out with Roxy and the kids and people just sort of give us weird looks and stuff, but you don't ever see that when you see older parents with their children. You never see that. I don't know if it's just because those older parents, their kids are older, but even even when they've got younger children, but they seem a bit older, they don't get the weird looks and they don't get the stupid reactions that other people seem to get. So I have no idea if it's me being a young parent or whatever, but it just, it really just irritates me. Like, there's no reason to judge people and no reason to just do silly things in fact, regardless if you're a young parent or not. The other day, actually, we went to get some shopping from a supermarket and this lady was walking behind us and Kylan was walking down the stairs because, you know, we're trying to encourage him to walk more. And naturally, he's only one, he's walking quite slowly and she's kind of stuck behind us, just getting along. And then she goes off to get a trolley, whatever, she's gone. And then we're walking through the doors. Apparently, there's not enough room for her to get through as well. So she's just stood behind us while we're walking through the doors. By the way, they, they, they're massive doors, they're double doors. Um, but apparently there's not enough room. And then she just does this stupid little skip past us when she's got room, like, not even a skip, more of like a little run, as if to say, like, I've wasted all that time and now I'm ahead of you. Like, it was a just stupid thing to do. And I don't know if it's because I'm a young parent or, or what, or if it's just because I'm a parent, I don't know. It really just irritated me though. And it just, I didn't say anything to her, but it just, I was just like, why did you feel the need to almost make a point that my child is walking? It was just so unnecessary. And it, it I, I suppose it doesn't boost my confidence that as a young parent, I'm doing things properly because it's almost like perhaps I should just be carrying him then because I'm in your way. One thing me and Roxy have always said about having kids young is that once we're older and our kids are older, we're still actually quite young, if that makes sense. So, you know, when our kids are getting into their teenage years or, or early sort of, adulthood is that actually we're going to still be relatively young and that means that whilst we can't do things now as much as we'd like to when we're older and probably have a bit more money we can still we can go and do all those things people are doing now and perhaps do them you know a bit more money a bit more time and things like that so it's definitely better and we still got we still got some energy left in us hopefully and I think that's definitely to me one of the biggest positives about being a young parent is just you know, when you're older, but not too much older, your kids are actually going to be, you know, a decent age and potentially you can leave them at home on their own things because they're going to be like, you know, 16, 17, that kind of age. And you can still go off and do things, holidays, days out, whatever. And you don't always have to take the children with you. You don't have to arrange babysitters. And obviously there are many other positives about the whole fact of just being older and things like that with your kids is you can all go off and do more things together as well. So for example, you could go off to scary attractions or you can go on bigger roller coasters or you can go on you know holidays perhaps for longer and stay out later and things like that there's just a whole range of things you can do i think you're kind of still down with the kids but not too much because that's just weird but enough that your kids don't completely get embarrassed by you but of course as a parent that is my duty to embarrass my children financially though there is negatives and one of them is a lack of savings so i did have savings before kylan was born and they very quickly got depleted and obviously older parents are also going to have savings and they are going to get depleted. But the chances are is they've had more time to save up so they're going to have more money and 
potentially all of their savings won't go immediately or won't go at all. And, you know, it is a negative because not having enough money is difficult. But we've managed, we've always managed and we've never asked people for money. And, you know, we managed even up until this day because we try and be sensible. We don't try and limit ourselves too much. And, you know, it's definitely a lack of savings is difficult, but you just kind of have to rebuild it, I suppose, after your child is born. And, and even when you're buying things, is just be sensible. Not everything needs to be brand new. I, I will be the first to say some things do need to be brand new. For example, bottles, I personally wouldn't buy them secondhand. I just, you know, I don't know where they've been. Car seat as well, I wouldn't buy it secondhand because I don't know that it's been in an accident or anything like that. But like buggies and things don't have to be brand new. We did actually get a brand new one, but we could afford it because we had savings and we had other avenues of money. But obviously, if you don't have the money or, or whatever, you can use your savings or something else. And that's what we did as well. We didn't just get everything brand new. A lot of it actually we already had because Roxy obviously already had Benjamin. And it's, I'm just saying like, you know, it's not all about the savings, but they definitely do get depleted pretty quickly. Finally, the last positive on this list is I think certainly for me is that I've grown up and matured a lot quicker since I've had kids because you have to, you have to grow up quicker because you've now got this, this life in your, you know, this, this baby or this child in your, in your life and your hands really that you are responsible for, you're responsible for their day to day life. You've got to quickly get your act together and mature and grow up. And that doesn't mean to say that I can't be immature sometimes, but it's about being immature at the correct time. I love a bit of immaturity and I love a bit of being childish and things like that. Not to the point of being stupid, but having fun is kind of what I'm getting at. But it's just about knowing when it's appropriate. And I suppose that's really a kind of thing for whole your whole life, really. And I should have mentioned it in my previous video about 23 things I've learned in life. But certainly for this video and, and for being a young parent, you do learn very quickly I think that you need to grow up and mature a lot quicker than perhaps you would have done previously. The last negative one certainly that we've noticed is it's really hard to begin a career because actually you're you're trying to bring up a child so starting a career is almost a no-go and it was in our situation so for quite a while Roxy just was you know just getting along in a, in a retail job but deep down she always wanted to become a nurse and go into that and that's now what she's she's trying to do she's at college at the minute and she's really pursuing with that, doing all the work and really working hard. But for a long time, it was kind of just put on hold. And I think that's what happens when you have kids and you have them at a young age is you have to decide, right, if I'm having kids, then I've got to either just stay where I am or certainly not bother with a career right now. Because whilst it's not impossible, I think it's extremely difficult. Certainly in our situation, it was because you're trying to bring up this kid. And then if you're also trying to have a career, which is nine to five, you've either got to find the money for nursery somehow or alternative childcare through friends and family, which obviously potentially they might let you down. And then it just becomes really problematic. So really your best bet certainly we found was just to put the careers on halt, look after the kids, start bringing them up. And then, you know, once they get a bit older as, as Benji is now, for example, he's four now, then you can start looking at a career and go down different routes. So it's definitely your career is put on hold, but it doesn't mean that you can never have a career. It just means right now, focus on the kids and then start your career. Obviously this video might not be appropriate to everyone that watches because you might be thinking, well, I haven't got kids. This doesn't mean anything to me, but I hope it kind of gives you a bit of an insight into my life, my experience of being a young parent. As I say, I'm only 23, my kids, Benji is four, Kylan is one, Kylan is my own child, Benji is my stepson. But to me, they're both my kids and that's never been anything other than that. Uh, but I do hope you guys enjoyed. I hope perhaps if you are a young parent, you've taken something from this or if you're going to become a young parent or whatever, it is a great thing. But just remember there are negatives and there are positives to anything in life. Certainly that's my experience of being a young parent. But as I say, it's not all bad. And I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button, subscribe. If you're new around here, I'll try and put content out as regularly as I can. And from that, I'll see you guys next time.